Hello everyone, and that's where I'm stripping this deck again. I check its schematic. I have an idea that these two switches, 4036, are responsible for the problems with the output. It eats high frequencies when it has a lot. And I discussed with the owner, it says the deck has no dynamics uh, when it's connected to the amplifier. So we decided to replace these two chips, but to disconnect it, to get the board out, I need to remove the back panel and it not removes unless you remove front and then remove these side panels. And it's, it's dramatic, really. You see, that's, that's only the way, like go up like that to remove these panels, otherwise, it's not works and now and even now I don't have full flexibility oh, yeah, I would need to check what else holds it and now next need to go from the other side and then this board it has two transistors which connected to this panel and this panel sits here <laughs> from the bottom and so on and so on so on lots of disassembly yeah. And I still like, need to figure out what to do with this connector. That's what is it, just push it in and it releases. Um, but this one I still have no idea. First time see this guy. Bye. See you soon. Hey guys, after all this fun, I was able to remove the back panel and release these boards. Because this part is not removable. When I unscrew it from the bottom, it still did not release. So probably it's required to disassemble fr front panel, remove tape transport again, and then remove this part. Wow, over engineered. Okay, let me see if I will have enough room now. No, I don't have to pull this board up. So I need to remove this connector if it's connector okay let me see let me think about it see you soon okay guys this was pretty tough connector but it opens like that and see there is a pins from the bottom okay i hope now now i have access to the board and now i can replace these switches and uh, there is no capacitors i install it after these switches so let me see how it will perform after. See you soon. Okay, guys, and I replaced it uh, out just switches, and still, when my VTVM is connected, you see it's, it has some effect on the output. I hope it would not affect high frequencies anymore, but this would be a longer test. So, I'm not sure why. I check the schematic, it's, it's pretty the same as the Sony. And technically this output is, will be affecting uh, just indicator level and uh, headphones amplifier. So this lone wires gives a little bit of noise, but uh, the effect I see here is it's way too much. I need to think more what to do with it. See you. Hey guys, I'm still working on the tick. So in attempt to eliminate uh, effect of the output load on this deck, I additionally resoldered this output connector to make sure that it would be good contact between ground. Uh, also, we have replaced these two 4036 switches and I replaced four capacitors with Nichicon. These guys are, I don't know what they are, YEC cups. I don't know what this brand is. Um, and there are plenty of them, like uh, they didn't use any audio capacitors. Those blue are Rubicon, guys. Everything I see is YEC. 
So let's see. Let me assemble. Let's see if it will start work better now. Because so technically there's a playback amplifier, the limiting capacitors, uh, bias filters, uh, com connector, a commutation chip, then uh, the limiting capacitors, photosynthesis switches, and output. And this Dolby chip, so they work through, through this guy when they connect it. Okay. So let's see how it will perform. See you soon. Hey guys, after all search, I found the root cause. Okay, so let me show you. And it's ridiculous. Uh, so you see three power wires. Green is the ground and it's grounded to the deck. Okay. Here. And here is two wires, a white uh, neutral and it's connected to neutral, as you may see, mark on the board. And black is uh, the active phase. Okay. And here are our device we're measuring. So here, come on, I'll adjust here. You see, this sensing line. Right? Now check here the black one. Nothing. The white one. The black one. Nothing. The white one. That is the root cause of all problems. Uh, let me reverse them and let's check together if it will fix it. Okay, guys, uh, here I'm testing, it appears at my factory, uh, power extender wired incorrectly. I check it's the outlet, outlet is fine, and uh, extension cord wired wrong. So let me fix it and let's test it again, if it is to perform normally. See you soon. And uh, here, guys, uh, you may see that the power outlet works perfectly fine. It shows correct levels. Hi, right. pretty cool device. We highly recommend to have one. See you. Okay, guys. Now I have my power cord extender. Fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it was a factory setup. I had to uh, work a little bit to pull out all the old wires. Um, and it was there like for years and years and years. Uh, okay, now when everything is fine, let me connect deck and let's see if it will solve our problem. See you soon. Okay, guys, and now I'm not sure what's happening, maybe because of capacitor, but now you see we have black wire as needed, and we have wi white wire. Boss, wow, I, and deck is off, really. So transformer is not connected. There are only capacitor, those blue guy, they're connected. Um, let me see, let's see some. Hey guys, and uh, here, I didn't touch any calibration pots yet. I played uh, music record songs. Right? Uh, they sound like astonishing now. Right? What's changed? I'm currently testing the calibration, so level is fine. But on bias, we got a little bit more than it was, you see? So now I will measure, tune everything up again, probably close first, measure, tune, and I hope it will solve the issue. So I believe capacitors were the primary cause, and also this deck is very sensitive to the proper polarity of uh, line and, and, and null on the line, and your power outlet. So 
make sure that everything is connected properly. I haven't observed this with other decks, but this one is is very sensitive. Hi, Susan.